Hi there. This video has been cooking for quite some time. You see, I had this habit of playing weapons as specialist until I reached tier 1. And then I skip it in favor for the ones that are left. And the AK was actually the first weapon that reached tier 1 for me. This video will go through a bit of the history of the AK and how DICE actually managed to tie that into a game set in the near future. I'm going to go through why I firmly believe this is the best assault rifle and the best around weapon in Battlefield 2042. Finally, I'll go through how to set it up and how to get the most of it, out of it. As expected, the AK-24 in Battlefield 2042 has its clear roots in the most produced and copied handheld firearm in history, the AK-47, or the Kalashnikov. Constructed by the Russian Panzer Commander Kalashnikov, heavily influenced by the Sturmgewehr 44, the Automat Kalashnikova was completed in 1947 and taken into duty two years later. Thanks to the easy and robust construction, together with its effectiveness, it has become extremely popular all over the world, and somewhere around 70 to 100 million rifles has been produced. Amusingly enough, the copies made by Finland is said to have the highest quality. Ever since then, it has been upgraded and released in various different versions, including AK-101 as seen in Battlefield 2, so an uh, upgraded version in Battlefield 2042 made total sense, and boy does it shine! Something worth noting is that the bullet velocity of the AK-47 was never great, there are versions with long barrels, but generally speaking, it's fairly uncommon to fit a telescopic sight for sniping. Usually, when re-pictured in different games, it's presented with iron sight, which makes perfect sense. Being such a popular weapon, there are popular rumors that US soldiers in Vietnam switched their M16s for the AK, especially in the early days where the M16 were known to have issues. However, the information I have is that these rumors are over-exaggerated, and there were many drawbacks of doing so, effectively preventing it in most scenarios. It was not allowed by the military, and since it was incompatible with the US ammunition, the supplies were not reliable. The sound was very distinguished, so there was a high risk of friendly fire and, well, I can go on forever. In Battlefield, however, especially in Battlefield 2 era, many players would gladly abandon their M16s for an AK. In Battlefield 2042, the AK-24 is a very typical assault rifle. It very much inherits the old robust feeling and acts as could be expected by an AK. It certainly does not feel like any futuristic next-gen weapon and very much like in real life, it's a bit restricted at longer distances. While other assault rifles in 2042 can be better at specific tasks, given proper configuration, the AK works in almost all scenarios regardless of the configuration. I do have one, or actually two, preferred configurations that I will share with you a bit later in this video, but this is one of those weapons that are good from start, and you don't have to fiddle around with the plus system too much, except maybe when you run out of bullets. This is a huge difference compared to the M5 or the AC-42, where you need to reconfigure the weapon much more depending on the situation. To be a bit more specific, it is an assault rifle. And although I still think assault rifles in 2042 are a little bit on the weak side when it comes to damage per bullet, it is really powerful. Since the second patch, I think it was, the recoil and spread is manageable, which I think is key, together with a decent fire rate. In real life, there would be additional things such as weight and size, but hey, it's only a game, we don't have to mind about all that crap. Mag size are decent from start, but wait till you get the drum. Not the bongo drum, the drum mag. Makes it look a little bit like Chicago style and gives you more than 50 bullets in a single mag. No need to reload, I repeat, no need to reload. Get that compulsory reload reflex out of your system and be more effective. Alright, so let's talk a little bit about the configuration then. As I said earlier, 
This is a gun that works very well already for the start. But there are a few tweaks to get it prepped for your personal taste. So how about my configuration? For starters, I prefer the Arkham Tactical Muscle Break. It makes the vertical recoil easier to handle. This is very much down to personal preference. It's not hard to count the vertical recoil, but I found it a little bit tiresome. My options are the extended barrel and the 6KU suppressor, and I have to say both are very niche. Extended barrel when I, for instance, is on cranes on manifest, and suppressor when I'm running around on the flanks in the bushes. Neither are used very often, just kill the enemy instead. I use the rattlesnake light grip, which gives better accuracy while moving. And I almost never stand still, especially not with an assault rifle. So while the difference isn't that big, I pretty much always run with a rattlesnake. I have the master key shotgun and the LS1 laser sight as options, but rarely even think about using them. Normally hipfire works fine at very close range anyway, and why should I bother trying to hipfire it at anything but? Using shotgun feels... weird. Looking at the different mags and ammo types, I usually run with a standard issue drum mag. I'm not sure it's made for this! The capacity is absolutely insane, but the drawback is of course that it takes a little bit longer to reload. Mostly for that reason, it can sometimes be nice with high power extended mag. Again, a few more bullets than in the standard, but still with a very fast reload. High power rounds doesn't really matter that much, and combined with both a little more kick and lower rate of fire, it kind of equals out a bit. If the enemies are spread out though, it can actually make sense to bring the extended mag instead of the drum, but most often I go for the drum. I also bring armor piercing because... I can. I never use it though, unless I try to troll someone. For some reason, I really love the iron sight of this weapon. It makes the recoil so nice and smooth, and it, it just keeps really good visibility, meaning you can stay in ads longer without risking being caught unaware. As options, I have the Maul Hybrid, which can be used for longer distances, and the M11 6 time for extreme distances. Especially the M11 is mostly for experiments, together with extended barrel and high power rounds, but truth be told, if you think about that, just go for the AC-42 or an actual sniper rifle. That is definitely the weakest point for the AK. Well, that was it for this video. I truly believe the AK is the best all-round weapon for Battlefield 2042. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. Cheers! Target down.